Ten minutes after ten o'clock, ninety-two point one W R O I W R O I FM dot com. We are streaming audio live on RTC channel five, and soon to be on RTC channel four. Abby's in the studio taping this morning. Hey, Abby, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah, nice to have you with us. Thank you. And with fifty-four degrees and light rain falling, we say good morning to the executive director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, and that's Amy Royal. Amy, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Nice to have you back with us. It's good to be here, even though it's raining. Well, that's okay. You brought your umbrella. I so you did. Have no, I'm no issues there. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Talk with us about the chamber. I know you had a board meeting yesterday. We did. We did. You know, first I just want to say that I was so blessed by the amazing chili cook-off. What a great... I just keep channeling that weather in my brain. That was the most beautiful day. I feel like it was absolutely... Best male person in the world. It was great. The weather was great. The folks, the chili vendors, the exactly. chili teams, the black top cruisers. I don't even... I can't say enough about... Do we know how many cars they ended up with? It was uh, it early was morning and they had... 400 plus and we're working their way up from there it was between six and seven hundred yeah, that's what i had heard so a little bit more than last year good and uh they had a great a great time somebody actually did some drone footage of it um somebody just decided to randomly do drone footage <laughs> and so i actually got to see that see all the cars because unfortunately or fortunately i was here trying to make things work and so that was kind of neat seeing what was happening in the rest of the world so, great day great day great. so that was we're we're glad that it's um finished for the year, but we were grateful that it happened. Does the so. planning start now for next year? It does, year? honestly. Okay. I've already updated I've updated the supply list. I've looked at what everybody told me. I have my survey out to the vendors and the chili teams trying to make sure because we had the capacity met this year. Right. So unfortunately, um, that disappointed some folks, rightly so. Uh, I wish I could have changed that, but that was one of those things. But ne next year, uh, we are looking at how in the world can we have more space for teams? We didn't really realize that that many folks were interested. That good. was the problem. So being able to do some strategic planning now and make a plan. It's so a good that, problem to have, though, if you have to have problems. You know, so the growth problems are much better than, than the nobody's other showing around. up. I mean, if I had five teams there, I would be really concerned that it probably would be an epic fail. But uh, we had the um, 16 teams, and we had about 11 on a waiting list. And so that means that we need to do some intentional planning so but now is the the heavy stuff so we've got the chili cook-off under our belt and we did meet yesterday and uh, we have updated our bylaws so some things that from all the education working with the chamber um, executive association and some things that we felt like needed to be changed we updated those and got those where we felt like they needed to uh, to be so that's the change with adding the superintendents okay. um, and then changing the, the meeting day so that we can be more intentional and in partnering with all of what economic development is as of the first of the year as right? of the first of the okay. year the bylaws have been accepted uh, they were voted on obviously sent out 10 days before and voted on so they were accepted but that will go into effect on the first so nominating committee in full force we have a good slate which we will put good. out in November to the board members to get three new board members in and new officers so that's always exciting new fresh blood uh new ideas we do that each year right we do okay. mm -hmm. so it's a different amount each year dependent we had a couple folks that um, became busy so they stepped away which we understand it's quite a commitment sure. so and they if they can't do it then we understand that and so that's pretty neat and then working on budgets so all this stuff is the non uh, the non fun stuff, but the fun stuff for me because I feel like that's the structure of the organization and it's what provides that GPS coordinate. So, uh, with budgets, you can figure out what do we want to add, uh, what worked well, what didn't work well, and uh, so we're looking at potentially adding uh, young professionals through to this next year. Okay, good. We're trying to build that out. I'm very excited. I have uh, Nitsco is one of our uh, platinum sponsors and the young lady who just took over that position uh, she was actually the former uh, director of the Kokomo Chamber okay and so she will be sitting on my board and I had already met with her a few times so she is going to be a huge asset to help us to tap into some resources here in Indiana that Good. I would probably even know about so we're pretty excited about that um, and then we're getting very close to hiring that executive assistant. Okay. Without that, I would probably go insane. I need to, to have my tag team with me. So I'm working on that, that QuickBooks, we're trying to update that too. So a lot of cleanup. We just want to make sure that 
we create the right platform. Okay. So. And I know Downtown Partnership working on the Christmas oh. uh, area. And of course, I guess before we talk about that, we should talk about Boo Fest and Halloween coming up. Yeah, so Boo Fest is great. Uh, Shelly Coles is the lead for the event committee. So she's done some really intentional work with the promotions committee. And uh, they have this fun uh, decorating contest with the pennies. And it's unfair because some people have actually more than pennies in their buckets. So I've been kind of checking buckets out as I visit folks and just keeping track myself. It's kind of fun to watch. So uh, they'll have a great lineup. They're going to actually bring it over here okay. uh, versus over to over by Beacon. Uh, just because I think that more folks, it's a, a better platform over this way, a bit safer. You can shut the street down. And uh, actually get to just participate in handing out candy this year. The okay. team is going to be doing that. And that's on the 31st. Plan on plenty, by the way. Uh, yes, because I remember last year I was barely awake because I had just started. But there were droves of children downtown Rochester. I remember that. It was each year I plan for that, and each year I run out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mass exodus, entrance and exodus. And they will be eating candy. I feel very sorry for the parents, but they'll be eating candy from 4.30 until 7.30 because Rochester's, <laughs> <laughs> Rochester's trick-or-treat hours are after that so That's right. all the poor parents just need to pre-prepare for that for all the candy the kids are going to get so uh, they're doing that but they're also working on a Santa event the um, I call it the Santa event because we don't have a technical name yet and uh, so Santa will arrive and he is very sassy and I do enjoy myself so Santa he's a fun guy a little parade uh, as usual yep it's going to yeah. be an interesting so I can't I don't want to share any details but they are it is a parade but it's going to add some fun stuff to uh, the tradition um, working very diligently partnering with other organizations to to make this a, a really neat event for the kiddos. Okay. So, uh, in addition to that, we are actually, uh, we met yesterday, uh, Sarah and I did, with the theater group. Because we, obviously, with the move of the transition of Sarah as the uh, executive director in January, we have to find an office for them. But we are building capacity. We have met capacity at the chamber. Okay. She's had to work uh, just at one of the boardroom tables. And so, looking at the organizations in the area, the theater group, is obviously attempting to get started too. So we met with them yesterday about potentially having the office for the Rochester Downtown Partnership in theater. So then they would have somebody who's consistently there to show that off, but also to uh, help split the cost of utilities while they're gaining their 501c3, the theater group. That's in progress, right? That is in progress. Okay. From what I understand, I spoke to Julie Sutton yesterday, and I believe that that has been turned in and the renovations or the revisions have to actually be done for that. And then once everything's done, they will do the bound copy and send it into the state. So good. lots of good plans, lots of forward movement. It takes a lot of work. That's the, the hard part about it. Other notes from the chamber meeting yesterday? Yeah, you know, the chamber happens to be the Rochester Downtown Partnership and tourism. So, okay. you know, the tourism, I. For me, Tom, it's setting up, I look at that from what am I doing for each organization, it's continuing to set the chamber up for success, building that tool that we talk about all the time, sure. sharpening that tool from Rochester Downtown Partnership that was building capacity for them and launching them, and then for the tourism, which is my next uh, big job, is really getting that uh, the vote for the, the new tourism logo out like the, before the county with the new website developer, and working on building the brand. Uh, Ted talks about this all the time. Um, I've heard it too, uh, people who say, if you're not on the web, you do not exist. And some folks have said that about us, so trying to figure out how we can build that tourism brand okay. through websites. So lots of good plans, hopefully we can get all that done. And I wish I could clone myself so we could get it done quicker, but not possible. So. We're just going to continue to work on getting that website ready and hopefully launch that. And this is for all of Fulton County, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and that is the hard thing about the chamber. I think that's, you know, with the chamber position currently as it is, you're dealing with Fulton County and you're right. dealing with the Rochester Downtown Partnership, but Fulton County with chamber and tourism. So those three positions, one person, uh, speaking about all that produces a little confusion for everybody, but um, that's what we're trying to build things out and, and get them where they need to be. Okay. So. Other notes? No, we're okay. just we're just rocking and rolling. Well, I can attest to the fact that the Leadership Academy is continuing on and doing yes. a very good job. I have yes. uh, been there on Tuesday along with Joe McCarter and uh, Christina Sila from the Rochester Sentinel we're talking a little bit about media. So yes. I know they continue on. That's a great group of people this year. It is, and I'm looking forward to I was supposed to attend that class this year so I could learn more about it and continue to partner with that. Um, unfortunately, with the loss of a staff person, I had to... Forgo that. So hopefully, the, at the end of this year, the next class, I can 
partner with them and see how we can continue to grow that group because it really is. A lot of folks have went through that class. And Mark a lot of good ideas have come. A from lot there. of good ideas. A exactly. lot of good ideas. So, and that's what you know. I was even thinking on the way here, just that partnership, because Mark Kepler and I have spoken about this. A partnership with that young professional group, the uh, FCLA, and figuring out how to. We don't want to duplicate efforts, right. but how can we partner those together? So, I would love to be able to sit through the class. I've spoken to the class, but I actually want to see what they do because I know that Kelly loved it when she went through it, and good. obviously you've probably spoken a million and a half times. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Amy Rowe is Executive Director of Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, bringing us up to date on Chamber activities and, of course, from the board meeting yesterday. Other thoughts that you'd like to pass along on this uh, kind of dreary Thursday morning? No, I okay. mean, it's, we're grateful still, even though it's a dreary day. I just Today is one of those days where, knock on wood, we actually get to accomplish answering emails and getting caught up on tasks that we've been attempting to get done since Chili Cook. Working on the dues uh, structure and the yep, uh, dues statements yes, and that kind of thing yep. as well? We have that new chamber master, so okay. that is where my QuickBook advisor, uh, I, we chose to hire a QuickBooks advisor because okay. we're wanting to make sure that the chamber master speaks to the QuickBooks um, and be able to set that up and get the dues, the new dues structure, but also the new tool, okay. which is the chamber master, which All will right. come out on the invoice so people can actually use that starting in January. Okay, why chamber membership? It's a wonderful tool. That's what we're talking about. We keep talking about the tool. It's an opportunity to pick up that tool, to use it, to build capacity, to multiply your efforts, to provide exposure for your company. And the beautiful part about that is that everybody can be sure that every minute of every day we're working to sharpen that tool and to try to educate folks on that tool. And if you're not a chamber member, consider it, right? Yeah, check Absolutely. it out. We've got the um, member application online. We're I'm wanting to update that. I don't 100% like that. Okay. But we continue to want to bring more folks on and would love new ideas. Your office 8 to 5? 8 to 5 right now. Okay. I'm there, smiling face, getting things done. So. <laughs> <All right. laughs> or at least trying to. <laughs> Amy, as always, thanks for your time. We appreciate, appreciate the support. It. Thank you. Thank you so much.